does this impact our lives in 2015? Well, first, for me, first, this is the, the fulfillment of these Old Testament prophecies. These are one of the many, many reasons that I believe that the Bible is the Word of God. I believe that God wrote this book. I believe that the Bible is the inspired Word of God. Because only God knows the future. Only God could have woven this thing together from beginning to end. There's only one story. It's the story of Jesus Christ. You know, the Bible was written by 40 different authors over a span of 1,500 years. People from different nations, different cultures, different economic backgrounds, different languages wrote the words in, these, in this book, yet what we see is behind it all when we take a step back, we see the hand of one divine author. That the Holy Spirit inspired all of it. Second Peter verse 1, the Apostle Peter, as he's writing to, to these new Christians, he affirms this fact and he wants to strengthen their faith in the inspired scriptures. And Peter says this to the new believers, and in many ways he's speaking to us as well. He says, we also have the prophetic message as something completely reliable. I want you to know that God's word is completely reliable. He says, you will do well to pay attention to it. That's an understatement. Hey, listen to the Bible. Do what it says, you know. Pay attention. As it is a light shining in a dark place. He's talking about the world we live in today. The light of God's word, the light of the gospel is that light that shines today. Until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your heart. He's talking about when Christ returns. And then he says, above all, you must understand that no prophecy of Scripture came about by the prophet's own interpretation of things. For prophecy never had its origin in the human will, but prophets though human, spoke from God as they were carried along by the Holy Spirit. Paul echoes this thought in 2 Timothy when he says that all Scripture is inspired by God. That word inspire means God breathed. I believe that the Bible is the inspired word of God for many reasons, but one especially when I see these 300 prophecies. The Messiah is going to be born here. The Messiah is going to die this way. This is going to happen with his friends. This is what's going to happen with his mother. And all of them fulfilled in one person who the angels proceeded and said, this is that person. And so I believe that the Bible is the inspired word of God. That it is God breathed. We sang that this morning. Word from the Father, now in flesh appearing. That word, that eternal word that proceeds from the Father became flesh and dwelt among us. Jesus Christ, the word became flesh. The word fulfilled in living flesh, walking in and among us. Secondly, secondly, we see the divine author, but we also see there's one consistent message from beginning to the end, and it's all about Jesus. Can you say that? It's all about Jesus. From the moment that sin entered the world to the very last chapter where Jesus is sitting on the throne, ruling and reigning over all heaven and earth, and all of creation worshiping him there's one story that's the story of jesus christ there's one story it's one thread that goes through the whole thing it's all about jesus it's always all about jesus and so when i read the scriptures when i read the bible 
the question I ask myself is, what is this showing me about Jesus? How does this point to Jesus? Jesus himself said this in Luke 24. After he rose from the dead, he appeared to his disciples And it says, starting with the Old Testament scriptures, he walked them through and said how they all pointed to him. All of them points to Jesus Christ. And so when I read my Bible, I need to ask myself, what is this showing me about Jesus? His nature, his character, his plan, his work, because it's all about him. The third thing I want us to see about Jesus the Old Testament scriptures and the fulfillment of prophecy that we see in Jesus is that God is good. That God is good. You don't have to worry whether or not God is good. The scriptures even tell us this. Psalm 100 verse 5 says, The Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever. His faithfulness endures to all generations. We err when we think that God is like us. We err when we refuse to trust God because other people have been untrustworthy to us. God is not like us. God is good. God is good. There are those who say that humanity itself is basically good and if you surround us in the right environment that we'll be nice to each other. I can tell you as a father of two (laughs) that provide a pretty nice environment for my kids that that is not true. (laughs) That even growing up in a loving home with loving parents who provide for their every need, who provide for a lot of their desires, that they keep a score sheet of what Judah gets and what Faith gets and who gets it first and who gets how much. And they're, they're making sure that they're not coming out on the bottom of that score sheet. And if they have to steal, lie, cheat, To ensure it, they will. So don't tell me. And it doesn't take a genius to look at the world today and say, well, these people just grew up in a bad environment. They really had a nurturing, loving home. Then the world would be a better place. God is not like us. God is good. God is loving. God is faithful, God is steadfast, God is unwavering, God is unmovable, God is unshakable. God, in all of that, expresses his love towards us, selfless love, because he is good. Because he is good. And so, because God is good, he can be trusted. I'll say it again. Because God is good, he can be trusted. You can trust God. You can put your faith in God. You can trust God with your life. You can trust God not only with your eternity, but with your here and now. Because God is good, he can be trusted. God is faithful. So you can trust God with your career. You can trust God with your children. You can trust God with your marriage. You can trust God with your finances. You can trust God with your health with your future, with your present, with your past. You can trust him with all of it. You can trust what his word says and that if he does it for me, he'll do it for you. You can trust God because he is good. 